Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. It's 5 a.m. I am, uh, I've been up since like 4.20, um, like fully out of bed, like awake, awake, um, just so I can curl this hair. Uh, as you guys can see, there's no more grayish tones in my hair. I went in with a got to be hair dye. Um, I mixed two, it was like uh, something steel with raging blue or some denim blue or something so i mixed them two together and i got this royal blue color it looks really really bright on my viewfinder i'm not sure how it translates on camera right now it looks like a beautiful dark royal blue um and my roots are extremely dark which i love i have really dark hair anyway um i do miss my gray but it's super super high maintenance so i decided why the fuck not and change my hair um i will never stop buying gray wigs anyway so we're good there okay today i'm gonna be coming to you guys with a milani tutorial completely everything milani i think even down to the brows but we don't know yet um maybe not the brows i don't think i bought anything for brows or maybe i did I did. Down to the brows. It's going to be all Milani. So I love Milani. Milani is a great drugstore brand with not so much drugstore pricing. So I'm very well aware that Milani is on the higher spectrum of the pricing, just like Physicians Formula is in the drugstore. So if you guys can get it on sale and there's items that you want, that's where I would recommend. I did pick up the Milani Prep and Brighten Rose Oil. It's a face oil. Oh, there's a seal on it. Ooh. Now, I'm not really a big rose fan, but I did fall in love with the Physician's Formula Rose All Day um, Hydrating Thingy. It's not too bad. So this is an oil. It has a dropper. Take like three drops. I like to press it on the center of my face and out, like when I have any facial oils. Ooh. Okay, this smells like roses. Um, it almost smells like chamomile as well. Like it's roses mixed with other flowery type scents. I'm just pressing into the skin. So this has sunflower seed oil, apricot kernel oil, dulce, like sweet almond oil, um, jojoba seed oil. Ooh, Ab abyssinica seed oil. Moringa seed oil, Rosa Canina fruit oil, fruit extract. Oh my God, these are great oils for the skin. I like the way this feels and I'm just bringing whatever's on my fingers. Just, there is a rose scent to it. It's not super overpowering. I would say that if you have the physician's formula one, um, the rosé all day. This is way stronger. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin. This is the Milani Prime Perfection Primer. Um, this is the hydrating and pore minimizing version. It's oil free. I actually think this is a great dupe for the Makeup Forever version of the hydrating primer, which I've had and I loved a lot. I'm just kind of rub it into the skin. I don't use a lot of primer primer, which is which is crazy because you guys know, like, I just don't use a lot of it. Like, I feel like I use the right um, or the, the suggested amount, and I feel like it sits on my skin better. I feel that when you put too much primer, you're giving you're giving the appearance of, like, cakiness or you're adding to the cakiness of a foundation and stuff like that. So be mindful of how much product you're using, and one, it'll last you longer. Unless you have a bigger face and do you, boo. I picked up, and I don't even know if this is a good shade match. <laughs> oh. I picked up the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation Stick. I have the foundation and I'm in the shade three, which is something beige. I think it might be light beige. No, it's, I think it's different. I don't even know where it's at, to be honest. Oh, she's right here, front and center. I use the shade, yep, light beige. So I stuck with the same concept. This does kind of oxidize on me, but it's such a beautiful shade once everything's blended because it keeps the warmth. Um, even though it says beige and it is kind of a little bit more neutral warm, it does oxidize, so. But I'm hoping the stick does me right, baby. It's 0.46 um, ounces of product. 
Oh, did I just scuffed it? Yep, I just scuffed it because I'm an asshole. And, and, yeah. Oh, okay. Now, me and stick foundations, it's like a love-hate thing. I love just the versatility of it. And I've been loving my wet and wild one because it's way more moisturizing. It's like one foundation I cannot stand is the, don't kill me guys, the Makeup Forever HD foundation stick. I can't, I can't for the life of me stand that damn product. I cannot. Actually, I should do like a, like, hate it's video. I'm like scared. Because I don't know if I put too much, but I can always pick it up with a sponge. I hope. It's a good shade match, I'll tell you that much. This is way nice. This one, me personally, when I look for foundations, I look for foundations that can give me coverage, but just enough that it evens out my skin tone. Really, that's all I'm looking for for the most part, because I'm not looking to cover up so, so much. I know that's what concealers are for as well, hence the you know, name concealer. This is just like a medium coverage, because what it did was it completely evened out my skin tone took away the redness the hormonal redness that i have so that i'll give it that so our full coverage creamy foundation stick blend seamlessly to cover imperfections and even skin tone that it does the weightless stick delivers a natural matte finish that lasts up to 12 hours the transfer and water resistant formula contains bamboo powder to absorb oil and lily extract to lighten the look of pores available in 20 shades and it's vegan okay this is ten dollars I think if you can find a shade in your color, I'm just gonna try to build it up right here. Right here. Look at that, I think it's a perfect shade match. I was hoping and praying to the foundation gods that I found the right shade. Um, but I tried to stick with what I know. I am the shade 30 light beige and then I just stuck with it because I figured if it's too light, bronzer you get what i'm saying if it's too dark i i personally can't get away with using that it's, a li it's like a little bit tacky even though i built it up right here just now i picked up two of these the milani conceal and perfect Longwear concealers i picked up the shade light neutral 125 and light vanilla 120 so this is a shade 120 light vanilla Ooh, no scent, but it reminds me of, oh my God, I'm, I'm hopeful. It, it reminds me of the um, Urban Decay. So this is actually not a bad shade pick. This is shade 120 Light Vanilla. She is more yellowy, but not too yellow. And this is the shade Light Neutral, which I can't open. Oh my God, you weak bitch. Ooh, Light Neutral. Okay. They actually have the undertones, right? Light neutral. She's way more pinkier. I'm okay with that. And this is light vanilla. Hmm. I'm going to use light vanilla. They have 18 shades of their concealer, which I think it's decent. Could always use work. Yeah, this is a, yeah, this is a shade I could use. I'm going to take some right here. And right here, I'm not gonna build up too much here. I'm just literally gonna go like this because I have some redness. And I'm just taking like the dry part of the doe foot applicator and doing that. I just want it to blend and not be patchy because that's my like nightmare. Ooh, okay. Okay, so it's the same size as the ColourPop concealer. If you guys are wondering, it's just a little chunkier too. I don't know what the tight tart shape tape holds, but a lot of brains are trying to be funny and they make these components where you actually don't get a lot of product. It just looks like a lot and people are getting fooled and they're like, oh my God, I love their makeup. And then you're getting screwed, but you know, take it, take it like a champ. So let me open up this. Milani translucent powder and I hope this Milani powder does not play me because it does come in a couple of shades but nothing you know spectacular so I'm only gonna take half of the sifter like that just cut it in half 
you only get 0.12 fluid ounce on this, which I think is a fucking rip off. My Fenty one has 28 grams. This has 3.5 grams. So for the price, you're better off buying a product like this. Um, if you use the Loose Fit Me powder from Maybelline, this has 20 grams of product, 0.7 ounces, and this is 0.12 ounce. You are not getting much of nothing with this powder for the price. Let me see something. The Make It Last setting powder, this is 10.99. Eight grams versus three grams. You're getting like a shit ton more product for the price. Always try to, you know, calculate that stuff, but. The Laura Mercier translucent powder is a full ounce, a full ounce of product, 29 grams. 29 grams versus 3.5 grams for $32, and this is 11. So really, just pay the extra 20 bucks, and you're getting like quadruple or a shit, a shit ton more product. So take your sponge, if you have creasy lids like I do, just push it up right and then take it and press with a brush. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, okay. This powder is the first one. It's the translucent shade. And I actually feel like it's translucent. It doesn't add any color per se, but because it's a yellow tone, it helps keep it neutral. You get what I'm saying? Like if it was more of a white cast you would see some brightening regardless um, if it says translucent or not especially on a yellowy skin tone or deeper skin tone I picked up my skin looks really good though like she looks e bang like I can go out like this and nobody would know I have foundation on um I picked up I don't like Milani brow products I'm not gonna front I think I still have oh my god yes look this I bought like years ago and I don't know why I've kept it. I probably kept it just so I could talk shit about it. This is the shade Dark Brown. It is the worst brow product I've ever used. Whatever. So we have the Milani Stay Put Brow Sculpting Pencil in Espresso 05. I don't know if they have a slim pencil. I didn't see one. Um, I know they do. They did have pomades from last time I checked. And if all else fails, I'm wiping off my brows and I'm using my... My ABH product. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to cheat if this doesn't work out because I refuse to have shitty brows after my skin looks on point. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just dumb. So, anyway, I picked up the shade Espresso, which is 05. Of course, is the darkest shade. You guys might hear some noises, just my neighbor. Oh, this is like blunt. Like, you know, when you get something that's. It's just blunt. It's, it's not at an angle where I can work. Let's see. Oh. Okay, let me let me read this carton. Full color elliptical tip, precisely drop. Wait a minute. First, the fuck of all, they show it slanted here. It ain't slanted at all. It's literally a blunt cut. Did I get a dud? This is where I stay put. Brow shaping gel for a bold brow. Use spoolie to blend and groom. It doesn't say how long this is supposed to last. I Oh, it says 16 hour wear in the front. Fills gap, water resistant, matte finish. All right, we shall see. Let you go pray. Porque si no, oh, this spoolie. Sorry, Milani, there's a lot of things I love of your brand, but these ain't it. <laughs> this is too creamy, I can tell you right now. And I'm using light strokes oh no oh my god okay okay if you guys have used like the color pop brow stuff i'm getting anxiety i don't want to do this let me try to even this out and then if all else fails It is that creamy that I can see it kind of leaving chunks of product because you know when it's a creamy brow product it kind of like skips on anyway if you have those kind of products 
and you really don't have a way to get anything else at the time, you know, shit happens, people go through it all, you want to just put what you want at first and brush it in and blend it um, because otherwise you're gonna have gloopy brows and we can't do that. I'm brave, I'm strong, I can do this. All right, let's go. Oh my God. Nope. I can tell that this is the same damn product repackaged. Like I don't even wanna do the front of my brows. I'm just gonna do that. And it's literally like a marker crayon, like it's weird. This ain't gonna hold, honey. This ain't gonna do shit for me today. Sorry, but I need to take some ABH. ABH needs to come to the rescue. I'm just gonna chin ching and chin ching just to darken up my brow hairs. I can't. I'm sorry, I know this was gonna be a vase of Milani, but I'm not about to be disrespected. So if my brows wipe off, at least my hairs have something on them. I don't feel secure, but I feel better. I have some swatches on my hand. This was the first swatch I did. Look at that. I did that swatch before I started my brows. Look at that. Yeah, I'm just like, wipe a brow. <laughs> this is the Soft and Sultry Palette by Milani. It's Fingerprint City. I haven't used it. Have I? No, I don't think so. I think I swatched a few shades from this palette. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Smoking Hot, which is this literal taupe shade right there. Um, and I'm just gonna take my Wet n Wild brush yeah, I used this shade before. I think it was just because I wanted... Ooh, okay. So we're doing smoky today. Smoky eye. This is a nice neutral taupe where it can shift warm if you're wearing something warm and it can shift cool if you're wearing a lot more cool tones. So I wanted to do something simplistic and clearly it's gonna be smoky for, for work. So I'm gonna build this shade up, of course, on my bottom lash line, and I liked to work this way. Um, I thought I wasn't recording. I was like, what the fuck? So I'm gonna take it on my bottom lash line. Of course, it's my Smith 220 brush. And I, I'm, I've kind of been doing it this way just to kind of do some steps along the way and see how the eye look looks. And I can add along the, you know, along the way or not add or whatever. I'm gonna deepen this up, because we might as well. I'm gonna go in with Damn, this shade's nice too. I'm gonna go in with the middle shade. This is Untamed. And we're just gonna take this. Oh, the brush I'm using is a Morphe M139 brush. She's cute or whatever. Oh, wow. This is kind of like a soft black. I wasn't expecting that. So I'm just taking this on my lower crease here. And then I'm blending it upwards. So you see how like my eyes just get patchy. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me, but whatever. It's fixable, it's always fixable. It's just annoying as fuck. I'm gonna take this brush and just go back in and clean this up a bit. Just back and forth. You could take a little bit more product. I don't know what I'm doing. Just to kind of cut the crease a little bit. For me, I don't mind doing this because I'm gonna add shimmer and I just want a gradient of color. And again, I'm gonna take a little bit on my Smith 220 and bump it right here. And just go, don't go past that. I'm not going past the halfway point, so. I like giving the illusion of an eyeliner when I don't want one. Like when I don't wanna do all that work. Okay, I'm gonna take my, what is this, Wet n Wild shader brush and I actually wanna go in to this shade in the middle. It's called Come Hither. So I'm gonna go in dry per usual, guys. And because I know that there's a little bit of fallout with this product, I'm just gonna take one side of the brush and I'm gonna go on this side and press it onto my lids. Oh, oh. We're gonna do you wet, baby. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna spritz my brush. I don't even know if I have a setting spray with them. I don't think I did. So we're just pressing this on the mobile lid.
and it keeps the same depth, but it just kind of sets it. This shade right here, this is the shade Sweeter Than Chocolate. And I'm gonna take it on my Smith 220 brush, gently build it up on the brush, and I'm gonna spritz it. Cause y'all know I don't play with my bottom lash line. And then I'm gonna pop it right here. Take some of that Come Hither, which is the taupey shade. That's actually a gorgeous shade. That's a good all over the lid shade. Spritz and I'm gonna pop it over top. So it keeps the smokiness, but it adds that reflect. I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is Diamonds and Pearls. <clears throat> Almost choked. And I'm gonna take my Smith 253. Yep, 253 brush, bang, bang. And I'm gonna take her, I'm gonna wet her. And we're gonna highlight the inner corner because she's looking drab. Now, I did add the Come Hither shade on the inner corner of the eye. So layering this should make it just right. Um, it should mix the colors together beautifully. Yeah. So it's not gonna be like where it's just a stark color. So that's what I do a lot of times is if I have a shimmer, even if it's a dark shimmer, I'll add it to the inner corner because when I add my highlight, it kind of gives it a variation of that shade. Cause this is more of a yellowy, not yellowy, but it's, yeah, perfect. I just tight line my waterline. I just use my Maybelline Eye Studio um, cream, whatever. Anyway, so we're gonna bronze the skin and I have the Milani uh, Silky Matte Bronzing Powder and I picked up the shade 02 Sun Kiss. This is actually looking like a cool tone. This is really pretty though. It doesn't look like much on my skin. Oh, wait. There's more. All right, so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my Eco Tools fan brush and we're gonna dust her off. <laughs> so we're gonna take some of this powder on each side of the brush and we're gonna try. Oh. Oh. She's pigmented. All right, this is the kind of bronzer that I like. It's neutral. It's neutral, but it can kick up warm when you need it to. It can kick up too cool when you need it to. Because my skin is so yellow based like olive jaundice. Um, you guys know I always say jaundice. Um, it, it really helps when you have something that's a little bit neutral, not too warm. I don't mind warm though. I don't know. I just, I make it work, baby the shade 02 so if you're my foundation twinsy that's what it do all right luminoso this is well loved very well loved this is my favorite i haven't even made a dent on it i've had this for years don't judge me i've had this for years this is my milani luminoso 05 oh god i love you she reminds me a lot of a little bit more orangey melba from mac Go in with this highlight here. I don't know how good it is. This is the 07 strobe light, the shade 07 summer glow because it has like a yellowy shift to it. Um, this is quite beautiful, but we shall see how it works because it, I don't know. I haven't seen anybody rave about it, you know? It's kind of going with the grain. Oh, okay. Just like hit myself in the eye with it. The soft glow, I'll give her that. So right now I'm gonna spritz my face because I don't have mascara on, which is great. I'm just gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set because this is Bay right now. But more is more. <laughs> so we're gonna go in with more while my skin's a little wet. Yeah, better, okay. I just pat it in and then I go in and blend lightly. Like I'm not like, <sighs> but enough. That'll make an impact. So I'm gonna go ahead, do my mascara and then I'm gonna do my lips and come back to you guys with my pre finished look. I'm gonna go in with my, I don't have a Milani lip liner anymore. I think I just used them up. I'm gonna go in with my roll it up 
J Cap Beauty Beauty uh, liner lip liner in rosewood and go in with my Milani Amore Lip Cream in stunning. Okay, my love, so this is the completed look using an entire face of just Milani products. Overall, I'm loving this look. I actually didn't plan this outfit. I'm gonna be real honest. I just grabbed what I had. Um, but it goes, it goes. So overall, I actually really like the foundation and the concealer, and I can't wait to mix them up with like my different primers and different foundations and stuff like that. So I'm really, really excited about that because I've been looking for a lot of base products that you know could be like new holy grails and new favorites or just to add to my collection. Of course, um, the shadow palette is gorgeous. My favorite blush, the bronzer, is actually one of my other favorite items. So overall, I like all the products. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so let me know down below what is your favorite Milani product. And yeah, sound off. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like this look. I hope you guys like this video. Thumbs up. Share with your homies. And yeah, that's it. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.